my name is Katie for the Hastings YMCA. This is Senior Fit. Uh, it is about an hour long class. We alternate cardio and strength training. Today we're gonna do the Tabata 20 second increments. Tabata, that's like super scary, especially if you've seen Gus's class. And if you haven't, you should go check that out. One of Gus's Tabata classes at the YMCA. Uh, we've got plenty of online videos for that. And he's doing it on site now, yay! And it's no longer looking so cold. <laughs> you do have to pre-register if you go, if you want to be at his class though. Remember to call in, pre-register for your spot, um, and hopefully you get in. If not, he's streaming live still. So, okay, what you need for this class is a pair of weights, unless you don't have weights, in which case you can use canned food, you can use water bottles, uh, or you could go the no weights version, which is just you resist your own body. I had a whole class based off of that at one point. Okay, um, we're going to start marching things out. So, I never finished my, sense, my thought before. <laughs> Tabata sounds scary. Okay, but it's not. It's not hardcore like Gus's class is hardcore. Oh my gosh, I don't know how people survive that. Oh wow. Uh, pump those arms, get it moving. Let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down. I did not forget my thought. Up, back, and down. One more time. All right, both arms are going to go up for four, front for four, side for four. In four, three, two, one. Take it up. Two, three, and front. Four, three, two, and side. Four, three, two, take it up. Four, three, two, and front. Four, three, two, and side. Four, three, two, march it out, pumping those arms. And I know I start to talk a little fast sometimes. I apologize. I'm just a fast talker. I've spent years trying to slow down and I end up speeding back up. Huh. Sorry. All right, let's tap our toes out to the side. Four, <coughs> two, one. We tap, tap. <coughs> All right. So why should you not be afraid of my Tabata? <laughs> be afraid of Gus. Actually, he's great. Don't be afraid of him. Be afraid of his classes. Why should you not be afraid of mine? Let's add those arms reaching across in four, three, two, one. Reach. I'm never going to finish that thought, am I? Do not be afraid of mine. They're all low impact. They are totally doable for any fitness level, unless you're sitting in a chair, in which case, Wow, that needs some heavy modification that even I will not show because that's just too big a range of, range of variations to show for me. You gotta be able to get out of your seat for this class. Sorry. However, you can take breaks whenever you want. All right, we're gonna reach overhead in four, three, two, reach overhead up, and up, up, and up. Uh, getting that whole body moving. If you find the low impact versions too easy, make them harder for yourself. By all means, make them harder. If you find them too hard, make them easier. Slow it down. Four, Three, two, reach across again. Reach. How do you make them easier than what I've done? You just go slower. Maybe you have a smaller range of motion. See, that is a lot easier than that. Pay attention to your body. If you are hurting, slow it down. Take a break. Stretch it out. If you're just sore and tired, <laughs> just keep going. Keep going. Four, three, two, 
hamstring curl. We curl up to the back, pulling those elbows back, crunching our shoulder blades, kicking ourselves in the tushy. How do you decrease the motion of this? You go less. Everything is just less. Oh, my hips are feeling it this whole weekend. I think I did not do enough hip work this weekend. And now my hips are like, ah, you want to use me? No. Four, three, two, front kick. We kick to the front. Oh, my hips are going, you suck. Yes, I do. <laughs> They're just complaining. All right, add that front punch in there. Opposite arm with opposite leg. If I felt a sharp, ouchy pain, I would stop. Now, this is my body whining and complaining first thing in the morning. Whatever. I tell it to suck it up and keep on going. Almost there. Whoo, four, three, two, march it out. All right. We're gonna lower that heart rate down a little bit, but we're still gonna keep going. Coordinating and balance. You can use your chair for this if you need to. Let me show you first. I'm slowing down. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and hold that fourth knee up. One, two, three, oopsie. One, two, hold it up. One, two, I hope you've joined in. Don't make me do this myself. Hold it up, why are my arms doing this? <laughs> La -da -da. One, two, because this is just showing what my legs are doing. Little added visual. Whee. One, two, hold it up. One, two, hold it up. This is a completely different speed from before, isn't it? We are coordinating. We are balancing. One, two, three, and I'm directing a choir with my arms. <laughs> if you want to join in with that, Go for it. It's just, it's quite fun actually. <laughs> one, two, all right, we got one more. One, two, hold it up and bring that leg out and back in. Other side, out and in. Opening up those hips. <coughs> I'm all alone in my basement and yet, I cough into my arm. You know, I saw a meme going around on Facebook, oh, ages ago, back in, you know, March, <laughs> about the General Grievous from Star Wars. I don't remember which episode, episode two, episode three, I don't know. And it was General Grievous' uh, cyborg who's on a ship in space, surrounded by robots, and he coughs into his elbow. Be like Grievous. I was watching episode three with my son yesterday, two days ago. General Grievous was coughing, but he never coughed into his elbow. Where was that scene? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was in episode two. I never saw it from what I saw, from when I was actually looking at the movie. One more each leg. Oh, oh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Shake those legs out, but your heart rate should be down a lot farther now. All right, maybe you're by your chair, maybe not. You're gonna stretch it out. So one leg or one heel up in front. You're gonna hinge forward. I think we also need, move up closer, to stretch out our hip flexors. That's that area right here where you bend over. 
where your body folds in half. Right now, you're stretching out your hamstrings. That's the back of your thighs. You're not putting any weight. You're not pushing. No, no, no. You're just stretching. Keeping that back neutral so it's not like that. Oh, actually, that felt kind of good. Got a sore back. Not an ouchy back, a sore back. So I was gardening yesterday. Release, Ugh. shake it out, other side, hinge forward. I was pulling weeds and pruning a tree, but all the, all the stuff that I was pruning was like at the base. So I was all hunched over, squatting down, looking like Gollum, I'm sure. Who's Gollum? Oh my gosh. If you don't know who Gollum is, Shame on you. Shame on you. You got six movies you can watch to get Gollum. And they're all awesome. Unless you don't like fantasy, in which case you are forgiven. <laughs> all right, release. Ugh, shake it out. Side bend over. Maybe you're over your chair if you're using one. If you're not, well, obviously you're not over your chair because you don't have one. Extend that arm out and back, pulling open those chest muscles. And over. And extend. And lower down, other side. We go over. We're going to save our back stuff for a little bit. And extend and back, pulling, pulling those chest muscles open. Whew. And over. And extend. And lower down, roll that shoulder back. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cat cow pose. So either you're behind your chair holding onto the back, or you have your hands on your thighs, you're gonna arch that back up, chin into your chest. Feel the stretch all through your back. And no, I wasn't scratching my back, I was showing you where am I feeling it all the way through. And reverse, you sink that back under, you stick your tush out. You were born with a tush, be proud of it, stick it out. <laughs> no one's around to see you. <laughs> and arch that back, chin into your chest. The whole time your shoulders are away from your ears. They should never be touching. They should never even get close to each other. And reverse, sink it under. Your chin comes up away from that chest. And release, rolling those shoulders back. All right, I said hip flexors, I meant it. <clears throat> You're going to step one leg out behind you. Tuck that tailbone under. You should feel the stretch all down the front of your leg, up to your hip flexor maybe into your belly. We haven't used a whole lot of abdominal extra, we haven't done a whole lot of abdominal stuff yet. So you probably won't feel it up in your tummy, but you might. Your back is tall, you're not hunched over. Ah. If you're hunched over, you'll never be able to feel that stretch. All right, let's release and get that other side. Foot back, yeah. tuck that tailbone under. A lot of times in the fitness videos and stuff, you see the, the trainer, the instructor, I'm gonna have to switch feet for this. You keep going, you'll see the instructor, like big old long, oh, stretching my hip flexor. You don't need that huge long stance, just a little bit. So long as you feel it, 
You're good. This isn't even a big stance, right? Maybe it's even smaller for you. Maybe you don't need something that big. A lot of us don't need that deep, long lunge. That's more for like intermediate and advanced where you find you're so flexible and strong that you do need deeper. Most people don't need it. All right, shake it off. As much as we love to say, yeah, I'm fit, I exercise all the time, most of us are still in the beginner's range. And that's okay. And most of us, you know, are like waves. We're stronger, yeah, we're not so strong. We're stronger, we're not so strong. It's okay. That's life. That is not the paper I want. <laughs> That's just life. Alrighty, we have our 20 seconds starting. Um, we're starting with our cardio. So we're gonna have cardio and then strength and strength and cardio and blah, 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 blah. Side lunge with an arm scoop. And then we're gonna have a squat and heel tap. So side lunge with an arm scoop. Did I get in the middle of this video? All right. We lunge out to the side. It can be a little lunge here. It can be a little lunge with that little bend in the knee, like that, or it can be nice and deep. And you're gonna scoop your arms. When you come back in, other side, you're gonna scoop your arms. The weight is in your heels. If it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit. You are resisting yourself with those arms. Starting session. Starting session. Are you ready? You're ready. Let's do it. We are lunging to the side and we're scooping. Scooping all the hand sanitizer. It's all mine. All my toilet paper. I did not hoard toilet paper. Now, I hoarded goldfish, but that was an accident. All right, march things out. Keep it moving. We're going to do it one more time and then we're going to switch to our next move. All right, let's go. We're lunging and resisting. Only you know how hard you're making this work. How hard you're making yourself work. There we go. Maybe you're resisting a ton and your toilet paper is laden down and soggy. Or maybe it's air. All right, squat with the heel tap in front. So you're just squatting and tapping, okay? All right, we're gonna squat and tap. Squat and tap. If you wanna go fast, go fast. If you wanna go shallow, go shallow. If you're going deep, go deep. It's all up to you, yeah? One more. All right, march things out. Got it one more time, then we'll move to the first move for two more, okay? Squat, squat with a heel, squat with a heel. I wanted to say something, and now I don't remember what it was. It had something to do with that paper I was holding. Nope, it's gone. All right, side lunge with the arm scoop. <coughs> you ready? Three, two, one, let's do this. Side lunge, arm scoop. I was very careful today to pick out moves that did not require jumping. Even if it was a harder modification. No jumping for me. All right. Oh, I'm getting out of breath now. So even a harder modification would not really be jumping. Again, it would just be deeper, faster kind of thing. Heavier weights. Halfway. Because you know, what, two months ago, I was complaining like a little baby. March it up, squats and taps next. Did I hurt my toe? Well, it was getting better. Now it's getting worse again. <laughs> All right, squat, squat, and tap. So 
I got a doctor visit for that, among other things. So no jumping for me. No jumping. And that's okay. I don't mind. Marching out. Ooh. Ooh. The deeper the squat, the more you're working. All right, one more time. Let's squat and heel. Squat, heel. However low you go, that is up to you. Maybe you're shallow. <laughs> squat shallow. Not inwardly shallow. Let's not be inwardly shallow. Last one. Walk it off. How's your top test? You're breathing. If you can speak more than a couple words at a time, you're good. If you need a longer break, take it. Walk it off. Back. 
and in. Back and in. If you need to alternate, that is okay. Go for it if that's what you need. Your weight is mostly in your heels. You should be able to move those toes if possible. Sorry, if necessary. And release. We're gonna ring our bell and do that kick back one more time. <clears throat> All right, ready? Ring, 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 ring. <sighs> now I remember something of what I wanted to say before. I can't say it now, we're in too big of a, a rush. One more arm, all right. Triceps, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. You're taking it back and in. You're keeping that back nice and neutral. You're not hunched over. If you are hunched over, you may hurt your lower back. Keep that belly tucked in. Engage those core muscles. Control your arms. And rest it out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Alrighty. Now we're going to do a completely different set of moves. I haven't forgotten. The, the bit of news I wanted to say was about the wise reopening. So, yes. Alright, we have... Uh, Alright, we do need our, our tray our chair for a little bit in just a second. We are going to start with serving our tray. So our arms are at 90 degrees. They're just gonna go straight forward, back in, and then turning to the side and back in. So you're working your back muscles when you crunch your shoulder blades. Your arms are not out here, your arms are in here. I don't wanna put a huge amount of pressure on your shoulders. So your arms come forward for the biceps, side, for the for the back, okay? And then we'll have a forearm twist. Starting session. And then calf raises and butt lifts. Alright. You're at halfway point. Forward, side. Alright. Why is reopening early? What? May 20th. Awesome. I will not be there. These classes will stay online for the time being. Hold your arms in the center here, 90 degrees. We have forearm twists, okay? Three, two, one. We got that twist and out. Ooh, can you feel this in your forearms? Oh my gosh. You should feel this in your biceps. That's that front part. A friend of mine, oh, a long time ago, she said her biceps or her little like hamster ball, hamster bump. <laughs> I was like, what? Alrighty. We have calf raises. You're gonna be by the side of your chair if you need it for balance. You're just lifting up onto those toes. Okay, I'm gonna have to go one footed. You do both feet. I'm gonna have one leg that's like monstrous big. You do both of your legs. If you're doing one leg like I am, I want you to switch legs this next time. All right, shake it out. If you did both legs, continue one more time. If you did one leg, switch. And lift and lower, lift and lower. I don't know what I did to make the toe worse, but <laughs> I did something. Oh, this calf is burning. Oh my gosh. All right, butt lift. Put those weights to the side. You can use your chair for balance. One leg is out behind you. You're just lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. If you want more, you lean forward further, then you can let go of the chair. Oh my. Keep that core strong. You can keep that leg up, that would be harder. Otherwise, I wish I had switched my legs. <laughs> All right, shake it out, shake it out. You're gonna switch legs now. All right, you ready? Lift and lower, you're using your tush. 
Use that tush to lift that leg. Your hips are squared in front of you. They're not open to the side. They are pointed straight off in front of you. And shake it out. Going back to those biceps. Serving your tray. You ready? You are ready. Forward and side. The uh, class schedule when the Y reopens is going to be very different. <laughs> we just don't have the room to have everything and keep people safe. <clears throat> keep your arms here. Forearm twist. In five, four, three, two. All right, let's twist it. So in the 16th Street building, the cardio room is closed, or will be closed. However, the cardio equipment will be staggered throughout half of the gym. The basketball court, and lower down. Oh. Put those weights off to the side, get some water. Your breathing should be really good right now. Your heart rate should be low because we were just doing strengthening moves. No cardio stuff. So the only reason you should be out of breath is if you are talking a lot, like me. <clears throat> All right, we have cardio again. Um, so half the basketball court will have cardio equipment and this and that. The other half will be used for classes. Not my class. Usually I'm in that basketball court. <clears throat> not anymore, not right now. You want to see me, you see me here. <laughs> All right, we are going to do more cardio. We have kick, and I'm gonna move this. <clears throat> we don't need weights, we don't need our chair. Kick and switch, so you kick, one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. This way, we are switching, alternating our legs without totally getting tired. If you wanna make it harder, just kick, okay? Starting session. Let's do it. Three, two, one, we're kicking. And kick. One, two, three. Kick. One, two, three. Remember, if you want it harder, you're just kicking. The higher your kicks, the harder it is. Three, kick. Three. All right, march things out. This time, we have a jab, 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 and cross. Ready? I'm gonna start this way. Okay, let's go. Jab, 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 and cross. You can go faster. Boom, boom, boom. Or you can go slower. I'm gonna go slower so that you can see my movements a little more easily. And for those who want to keep up with me. Alrighty, we're gonna kick now. We got our arms, we got our legs, we are good to go. All right, ready? We're gonna kick, two, three. Kick, one, two, three. Kick, one, two, three. I do not know when my classes will return to being in person. You know, we're just keeping our eyes and ears open, seeing what happens as it happens. All righty, march things out. We got our jabbing with our cross punches. A jab is when you just Punch straight out from the body. Across, you cross your body, okay? So one, two, three, cross. And you're pivoting on that back foot. When you, woo, cross. That was too much of a pivot. Cross, one, two, three, and cross. Last time, right here, boom. All right, back to the kicks. We're just one after the other. All right, you ready? And we kick, one, two, three. I caught myself off balance. I meant to kick first, and instead my legs decided they would count first. <laughs> okay, go with what the body's doing, I guess. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And last one. <clears throat> All right. I forget which side 
I did, all right, I'm gonna start that way. So I think I finished this side. So one, two, three, and cross. Jab, 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 cross. One, two, three. There's not a whole lot of power behind my punches here. However much you put in is up to you. Boom, all right. We're gonna punch it out again, or sorry, kick it out again. We just did punches. <gasps> All right, I'm still moving. And we kick, one, two, three. You notice in those rests, I do not stop moving. Mainly it's because I fidget, <laughs> which is convenient because you should not stop moving after cardio. You gotta keep moving or your blood will go All right. Walk it off. We're gonna punch it out one last time. Are you ready? I'm gonna go that way. Ready? One, two, three, and cross. A one, a two, a three, and cross. A boom, boom. Almost there, boom. Let's go one more time. And boom. All right. Good job. You finished cardio two. Cardio two. We have strength training again. We are going to, what are we doing now? No weights. Right now we have walnut pressures. If your arms are at 90 degrees, you're gonna make a little upside down U with your elbow. That will crunch your shoulder blades behind you. Of course they're behind you. So all you do is you crunch and crunch, okay? Starting session. Walnut crushers. Crush that walnut. All right, crunch it. Crush the butt, the bud. Crush the butt, no. Crush the bug. I meant to say crush the nut. So it, and then my head thought of bug and it came out butt. <laughs> Go figure, right? Alrighty, Whew. wide squat. So your legs are super wide apart. You're gonna stick your butt back and down. Most of your weight is in your heels, okay? You can be shallow or you can be deep from the side. Shallow or deep. I don't wanna see this. That's not a squat, that's not a squat. Use your butt, use that butt. You're getting your legs in here. Give me up and rest. Prayer pulse. Your elbows are together as close as they can get. Shoulder level. Just pump it up and down. Up and down. Your hands are together. Flat or they can be grasping each other. Either way, you're praying, right? You're like, I'm praying this move ends. Uh, tell your body to suck it up. Oh, shake it out. All right, step throughs. You step forward, you step back. All right, we're gonna switch halfway through. Step and step. You want it harder, you make it deeper. All right, one more. And we're gonna switch sides. Step and step. I'm just stepping here. All right, shake it out all over again. Walnut crushers. You ready? Oh, sorry, that's not a walnut crusher. There we go. You're gonna crush, crush, crush those shoulder blades together. Get your nut bug, your butt, <laughs> your bug nut. That just sounds weird. Get your back. <laughs> Since your back and your shoulders get pumped up. All right, shake it out. Wide stands for that wide squat. Remember, you can keep it shallow if you want. You don't have to go way down. Your feet are a little diagonal, not too bad. You stick in your butt out, out. Trying to keep your back, uh, your chest up, as opposed to, woo, no, 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 we don't want that. We don't want that, all right. Shake it out, prayer pulses, let's do it. 
All right, you ready? Elbows are together. Pulse it up. How about we go up, two, three, and down. Make it a little harder. Down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, we got harder. One, two, three. One, two, three. Squeeze your chest and rest. Ooh, I grind. Step throughs. Half and half, okay? It's not a whole lot. Step forward, step back. This one's not too bad. Honestly, it's really just because I needed the leg exercise. Switch sides. I don't like doing this one for 20 seconds. It's just, it feels like too little. Shake it out, shake it out. All right, we are going to move to the next round of movements. It's been about 40 minutes. All right, we have <clears throat> standing oblique crunches. We have a slow cross punch, seated earth break, and toe taps. So you will need your chair, and you will need your weights. I'm gonna pull this chair up here, over here. Standing oblique crunch, one arm is up in the air. You're gonna bring that knee out to the side. So you're crunching your obliques. If you're bringing it to the front, you're not working your obliques, you're working your front, which is good. But we want obliques. All right. 20 seconds, one side. 20 seconds, the other side. Ready? And crunch. And crunch. And crunch. If you need your chair for balance, it's right there. If not, you can always put your hand on your hip. Crunch. And a crunch. Three, two, one. And rest it out, switch to that other side. Too close. Give me some room, table. Ready? Crunch. We have slow punches for this next one.
Remember, you can do that knee raise. That's fine. Use your core to lift that leg. And release. It's only 20 seconds. Shake it out, shake it out. One more time. You ready? I'm gonna do a toe tap this time. Use those core muscles. Control your body. You can lift your arms up, make it even harder. Don't do this if you don't want to. You can do that knee raise. I know it's hard, you can do it. Push, 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 push. Push. Lower down and rest. Oh, good job, good job. All right. <laughs> like, where are my weights? I put them very nicely under my chair. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, we have one more round of cardio. <laughs> what? Another round of cardio? Yes! Yes! We have a butt kick with a tricep push behind, and we have lateral steps with a row. So, what is that? First, you're just kicking your butt, right? Maybe your heels are just barely getting off the floor. That's okay. Your arms are at your sides. You're pushing. You're pushing, so you're using your triceps. And then that lateral row, you have your lateral step and you pull. And pull, just like that. Super simple to learn and do. We're gonna alternate, okay? So you're kicking your butt, you're getting your hamstrings, you're getting the back of your body all along. Get those triceps. Push those hands back every time you step. All right, lateral step with the row, okay? I want you to crunch your shoulder blades when you row. And let's go. We're rowing and we're stepping. You can go slow. You can go faster. You can go deeper if you want. I'm gonna go a little on the slower side. This isn't slow, really. <laughs> this isn't slow. And shake it out. I'm like, that was a lie. That wasn't slow at all. <laughs> Butt kick with your triceps. Ready? You gotta kick your tush. Push your hands back. You can go faster. You can go slower. Less. How do you make it harder? Add weights, perhaps? All right. Shake it out. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. How's your breathing? Lateral steps with the row. Ready? We're gonna step, step, step. You're rowing. You're also doing a bit of a rhomboid pull, I believe I called it in some other classes. So I can't decide what to call it. Whatever. Shake it out, keep on moving. You're going back to those butt kicks. You ready? Kick the twish. Guess if you really wanted to pump this move up, you would ignore your arms and you would like run butt kick in place. Which I will not show because just no, I'm not running on a nasty toe. All right, lateral step with the row. I'm still moving. Don't stop moving. All right. Okay, let's row, and step, and row, and step. Here's something you guys didn't know. Even if you see me in person, you will not know. I hide a bit of my personality. I really want to dye my hair all sorts of weird colors. Walk it off, but I can't. Because, you know, society sucks. All right, butt kick. Well, I'm at home these days, right? Nobody sees me except, of course, everybody on the videos. I would dye my hair green. You didn't notice, did you? Because the dye sucked. 
It didn't take at all. Supposed to be good for brown hair. Didn't work. work. Alright. One more time. Lateral steps with the row. You can do this. Come on. You got this. Starting over here. Alright. And I'm stepping and rowing. Stepping and rowing. It came out. My hair came out looking like a pale kind of swamp color. A tint. Just a tint. I'm like, what? And I used my bare, my bare hands to put it in. It didn't even stay on my skin. That sucked. Right. However, it also meant that I did not have green hair for any videos, which is good because I found out swamp hair does not become me. <laughs> not at all. Get your water. Do your talk test. Can you speak more than a couple words at a time? <gasps> or are you panting? <gasps> if you're panting, take a longer break. Walk it off. Maybe you have to pause the video and take a longer walk. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to get my chair out. Not with my weights. And I'm going to do stretches sitting down. Some of them. All right. We have our IT bands. Our IT bands. There we go. If you need your chair for balance, it's there. You're going to bring one leg behind you. I'm going to do my right leg with my right arm. Feel the stretch in your hip. If you feel it in your side, check your foot and arm placement. Does your upper arm match your back leg. If they do, you should feel it in your hip. If they don't, you're doing a side bend, in which case <laughs> maybe you want to do this move later because we'll do a side bend uh, in a bit. And release. Ugh. And shake it off. Let's get that other side. Left leg behind, sticking my back a little bit. Left arm over. When I was, you know, back in the dark ages, not really the dark ages. However, it seems like a really long time ago, because it was. When I was in college, I would bleach my hair and dye it odd colors, like electric blue. I didn't realize what I was doing with my electric blue matched my alma mater's blue color like perfectly, almost. Perfectly, almost, that doesn't, matched it really well. So everyone thought I was showing school spirit. And release, Ugh. Maybe you know what my alma mater was, maybe you don't. I'm gonna sit down now. Let's see if you can guess what my alma mater was. What were the colors? One heel out in front, that's not a color. Hinging forward, stretching out your hamstrings. All right, well, it was blue, a light blue, a bright blue, and a, uh, beats me, I didn't have much school spirit. <laughs> but if you know me, you know that uh, for a long time I lived in Colorado. My parents, wanted us all to move over to Colorado when I was in high school. You don't move a 15 year old to another state and another way of life entirely. You come from like the LA area into Booneysville, it's not gonna take very well, okay? It just doesn't take. All right, let's switch sides. And if my parents are watching, they're like, yes, we know you hate it over here. Yes, I do. I'm allergic to pine trees. There's pine everywhere. There are mosquitoes everywhere, and I hate bugs. I'm not fond of nature, and they're in the middle of nature, and muddy roads, and this and that. And it gets really cold. <laughs> and I'm a Southern California girl, and there's snow everywhere. <laughs> I am a huge wuss. However, speaking
speaking of Southern California, grew up in Santa Ana. Have you heard of the Santa Ana winds? Well, they just, they uh, prepared me just perfectly for Nebraska weather. Yeah, I love the wind. I'm perfectly at home in these kind of winds. All right, release. Let's do that side bend. Oh, except we're doing it in our seat, so. If you were doing a side bend earlier, you can get up and do that IT band stretch now. Or you can just do two side bends, and that works perfectly fine too, right? All right, other side. Oh, feels good. Um, anyway, so my parents insisted we move to Colorado when I was 15. So I went to high school in Colorado, and I went to college in Colorado. Here's the question, what college should I go to? that has a nice blue, bright blue color. I don't know what the second color is. And if you can name that color as well, yay! You can teach me. All right, release. Let's get a little extra stretch, so arm on the outside of your thighs. Twisting as far as is comfortable. Your back is tall, your neck is long, your shoulders are down away from your ears. So I dyed my hair bright blue. After that, oh, that was fun. So then I did it again and dyed my hair purple. That was a mistake. <laughs> purple streaks would have been better. Purple sections, the whole head purple. Release, other side. And I cut my own bangs. Oh, it was really not good, really not good. And then, to make matters worse, when the purple washed out, oh, it was hideous, it was hideous, oh my God. Brown, dark brown roots, bleached hair, so there was, there was that yellowish white in certain places. The purple washed out into pink and orange, and this and that, it was just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hands on your thighs, let's arch your back into cat pose. And then naturally, my uh, cousin was getting married. <laughs> Imagine going to a wedding with god awful hair. So I got my hair dyed that same morning. Nice dark maroon color, oh it's gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. Reverse, I loved that hair color. Purple is not a good idea. Uh-uh, not for me, not for me. Arch that back. Although I did really like reverse that bright blue. That was awesome. And if you ask my parents, I believe my mom will say, what were you thinking, you crazy girl? And my dad will say, you look so cool. <laughs> so, that was fun. That was fun. <sighs> All right, roll the shoulders back. Arrgh. Let's sweep those arms up. Inhale. And down. Exhale. You learned a bit about me. Inhale. And exhale down. Uh, all right, how did you do? How do you feel? Um, you should feel really good right now. You've cooled down, you've stretched out. If you want more stretches, like for your arms, because I didn't really do much of anything, any kind of stretches for your arms, you go do that now. Don't forget to subscribe to the YMCA's channel. Um, we are not done with the online videos. We're gonna keep going for at least a while longer, for at least my classes. I don't know, if how many instructors are gonna continue online? Um, I know at least I am, so at least one person, right? <laughs> and uh, we'll see how things go, I don't know, in June, how everything is going. Um, anyway, okay, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, you know, have fun, mix and match, and I will see you later. Bye!